I'm Terry Anderson, Executive Director of the Property and Environment Research Center, or PERC as we know it. I'm also a Senior Fellow at the Hoover Institution at Stanford University. I specialize in environmental issues, in particular in how we can harness property rights and markets to improve environmental quality. I'm here lecturing to an advanced course for state judges uh, on the topic of environmental issues. Uh, in particular, my uh, lectures are entitled, Who Owns the Environment? I'm speaking to them on what role courts play in better defining property rights so that we can move environmental issues from the courtroom and the legislature to market solutions where negotiated settlements are the norm rather than litigation. Free market environmentalism is an approach to environmental issues that attempts to clarify property rights so that markets can improve environmental quality. The example uh, that I'll be using here in this course is how water markets can increase the amount of water devoted to environmental enhancement. For example, environmental groups are now purchasing water rights from farmers and leaving those rights in stream. That's a case where we have clear property rights to the water, we have markets, and we're improving environmental quality, all without litigation and legislation. Cap and trade is a policy that's been called for by the federal government to regulate carbon emissions. The idea is that we cap the amount of carbon and then allow people to trade their caps with those who may be able to reduce carbon more efficiently. For example, if you plant a forest and I want to emit carbon, I can pay you to plant more forests. But we have to be careful. Not all cap and trade is a market solution. For example, taxicab medallions in New York City is an example of a cap on the number of taxicabs, not designed to reduce uh, uh, the amount of emissions, but rather designed to reduce competition, which drives up the price of taxi cabs. It's a little less clear whether cap and trade on carbon is like taxi cab medallions, where we're simply eliminating competition, or where we're actually improving environmental quality. So I think the jury is still out on the efficacy of cap and trade as a solution to the carbon problem. <laughs> 